Hi, this is Dr. Patrick Rhodes from Ego Wellness, and I'm here to talk about peptides. Specifically, I'm here to talk about IGF-1 LR3. It's a fairly new peptide. You might think, what is that? Well, IGF-1 LR3 is derived from IGF-1. IGF stands for insulin-like growth factor. And what it is, is uh, it's something that's in our body that along with growth hormone helps to process and establish normal growth patterns in the body, such as you know muscle strengthening, etc. They've combined it with LR3, which I believe is a, a GLP-1, uh, had the brand name of Victosa or Liraglutide before, and it helps with fat loss. The combination of these two increases the uh, half-life from 10 hours uh, to th or 12 hours to 30 hours, which makes it last a whole lot longer. Um, that way, you know, it's working all the time and just instead of just for half a day. And, and the IGF-1 that we're injecting is independent of growth hormone secretion, so that's good, so you don't have to take it, you know, two hours after eating or half hour before, etc. It's just easier to use in that way. How does it work? Well, it binds to IGF-1 receptors on muscle cells. It enhances protein synthesis and limits protein breakdown. IGF-1 LR3 also promotes satellite cells, which uh, decreases muscle breakdown and uh, enhances muscle repair and function. Finally, it works on insulin receptors to enhance glucose uptake, and overall it leads to a, a more effective fat burning effect. Uh, it's really a great peptide with multiple uh, good side effects. Some of the benefits include uh, increasingly muscle mass, improvement in athletic performance, improvement in muscle recovery and reduced recovery time, which is really important when you're working out, um, the reduction of body fat and increased body metabolism. And you think, are any of those things negative? I think everybody wants all those things. Um, it's really a great hormone. It can be used with stuff like BPC-157, AOD-9604, semaglutide or precipitide, um, 5 amino one and Q. Um, anyway, it's a great way to replicate IGF-1 levels and uh, it's a way to enhance your growth hormone without having to take growth hormone, which is A, very expensive, and be pretty hard to get because the federal government uh, really is looking out for that. And unless you unless you can establish that you have adult growth hormone deficiency, you can't be prescribed uh, HGH, at least not legally. Anyway, I think uh, IGF LR3 is something you ought to think about and could be very effective in your peptide arsenal. Thanks for watching.